What's going on guys? It's your boy Ray to the Wood here and welcome back to the episode of Bleach Brave Souls guys. In today's video, well, not really. So everything you're gonna see on screen is pre-recorded guys. Unfortunately, well, as you guys most likely already know that um, there is a maintenance going on at, at the moment, at least while I'm recording from 12 a.m. Uh, so from all the way last night, actually it wasn't, it said 12, but from 12 to 4 p.m. So supposedly mine ends at 4 p.m. I believe, or it's 2 p.m. I'm not, I'm not too sure actually. Um, yeah, it's 4 p.m. It says 000 to 16. Um, I don't know if on global it's the same. I assume it's the same because as you guys do know, this is the point in the game where global and JP are going to be the same, guys. There's not going to be any more, at least for gachas. Events are going to be different. Raid schedules are going to be different, I assume. Maybe they could actually even out raid schedules potentially now because you guys have all the same characters we have. Um, so, I mean, it could be the exact same right now, but... Um, for Gatchas, I know 100% it's going to be the same. And uh, we finally got the announcement for the end of the month Gacha, guys. So I don't know if this confirms it or if this is like a little trick to where they're going to show us a banner for next month and then it not be the banner. But I assume it's going to be the banner because, you know, it's kind of straightforward. But we got it on screen right now. Ichigo Tag Team, which is one of the most hyped ones, probably the most hyped one for a lot of people. The one of the most hyped for me, Muramasa and Koga Tag Team. Or Koga and Muramasa and Renji and Zabimaru um, tag team, which I'm so excited for. Uh, this is actually a good time to chance. I have been saving orbs for the last month. I have like 3,200 orbs um, just from just saved up that I haven't spent because no banners this month have really been pulling me to summon too much. Like I mean, Retsu, I spent like maybe like five to seven hundred, and I got two Retsus and a Chojiro, who I don't know if I should make a showcase for. Let me know, guys. Chojiro showcase, yes or no? Uh, I have him done, level 200, he's ready. So you guys let me know if you wanna see that. If not, then whatever. Um, I might do something little, something fast on the side just to show like his best build or something. Maybe not a full showcase. But regardless, um, end of the month gacha confirmed. Um, I can't wait to see their moves. Hopefully we get some video leaks tomorrow. Um, if not tomorrow, well, this month goes to the 31st. So I assume, I assume actually they're gonna come out a little early. It depends, I guess, when the other gacha ends. Um, I didn't actually check the gacha that's out right now, but it just came out, I believe. So I believe it's gonna be till the 31st, guys. And then after the 31st, um, we should be getting uh, the new gacha. I'm gonna go into the Bleach, uh, the Bleach Twitter right now, just to just to see what gacha is out right now. Um, yeah, so it came out nine hours ago. So I believe this is gonna be it's it's Tetsuzaima. Tetsuzaima, Noitra, and Love. I believe it's going to be until the 31st. And then it's going to be Renji, 5-star Ichigo, and 5-star Koga, who I'm super excited for. It's called the Tag Team Summons Power Entwined. And I'm super, super hyped to see. Honestly, I, I say I'm least hyped for Renji, but I feel like they're all going to be super OP, especially Ichigo and especially Koga, Mudamasa. They, they better be, at least in my opinion. They better be OP. Um, besides that... Uh, those three coming out. Once gameplay comes out, you know I'll keep you guys updated and you know that I will do a reaction and talk about it. But besides that, um, the reason why there's a big maintenance right now, because I'm getting a lot of tweets saying, how do you cancel the maintenance? You can't cancel the maintenance. It's part of the game uh, to improve the game, make it better. So 5.2 is coming out, as you guys know. And um, I'm gonna read you guys. I did a full video, right? So I did a full video on uh, update 5.2. If you guys wanna click on it, I'll. I'll put it somewhere on the screen. It's going to be in the description. And uh, that's going to go into full detail about everything. So if you guys want to see everything about 5 points. So like I said, full video will be out. Um, it's already out on my channel if you want to check that out. But if you want to like a little quick summary of it, I'm going to let you guys know right now. So the things that are going to be coming out is auto co-op. So as you guys know, there's going to be an auto button in co-op that the host selects. And he's going to be able to choose whether or not people in the lobby can click an auto button or have an auto button to auto farm. It's gonna be good for powder runs, not good for inheritance, not good for extreme, not good for five star raids unless you all have top tier characters. Damn, I'm gassy. Next, chat room added to co-op. That one I messed up in the last video. I said that it was more chat options. It's not, it's a chat room added. So on top of, um, it takes you to the chat room. You guys know the chat room that you can access from the menu. It takes you to that. You're able to chat with people in a chat room. Maybe even just a co-op chat room, which would be pretty cool. Um, be good guys, be good in those. Confirmation screen added before resetting, or so um, before you respond back in, um, in a co-op, it'll confirm you, are you sure you wanna respond? 
and then and then uh, you click yes and then you could respond because I know a lot of you guys respond by accident including myself and it's a waste of two orbs sometimes you respond at the end when you're swiping through sometimes you're you're swiping and you die and you lag and you accidentally respond while you're swiping it's stupid so it's a confirmation and it's also the same for quitting when you quit there's gonna be a confirmation are you sure you want to quit in the co-ops um, Friend requests after co-op, so there'll be a little blue box that appears after a co-op that allow you to uh, request a friend from that person who uh, you were just doing a co-op with, which is fast and easy. As long as their friend list is not full. Gift box improvements, so um, there's going to be four gift box selections now, four tabs at the top. There's going to be um, your soul tickets, there's going to be your friend points, there's going to be the rewards, and there's also going to be a slot for only drop characters, which is amazing because as you guys do know, when you click the normal rewards, uh, I used to come with the character rewards and it would always fill up your, your inventory and it was just a mess and now they're, it's its own uh, category. So it's way better, way more organized. That's one of my favorite features. Um, confirmation screen when you're accepting gifts, uh, soul tickets and blah, 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 which is amazing. You know me, I've accepted over 150 soul tickets by accident. And the reason why that's not good is because you have to burn through all of them or else you won't recharge. Because if I, if I only do five at a time and I decide, hey, I don't wanna play anymore, I'll recharge over time and I'll get five free back. But if I have 120, I won't get any recharge. They'll just stay at that number. I don't know. I, I personally think about collecting them slowly because then you have more and you won't be scavenging for tickets all the time. Especially me because I do streams with you guys and all that stuff, all that jazz. I always need tickets to be able to host lobbies. I mean, I can join you guys, but I really enjoy hosting it. One, for the raid bonus, and two, just because I like having people guess the codes and stuff like that. So uh, next, we got six star skill percentage added. Um, so it tells you all the percentages of Bruiser, Berserker, all the six star abilities will be added into your characters, um, like stats. If you click on his, um, their options, and you get to see like, I'm so bad at explaining, I hate myself, but you guys know it, the drill. You'll see when it comes out. It's in my last video, go check it out. Um, so skipping special is going to be default. There's going to be no button for it anymore. You can automatically skip your special. And uh, five-star accessory um, improvements. So you can roll SP items on chappies, and you can roll focus on dispensers, which is amazing. So uh, yeah, I'll have a Reddit post with everything as well down below if you guys want to just check it out for yourselves with screenshots. And also if you guys want to check out my video on it that I posted a few days ago, link in the description. And yeah, guys, um, personally, my opinion, I am excited for this update. It's going to be really cool. It's going to be really exciting um, because there's just a lot of cool things that we finally get to add. Like the chappy thing is really is really cool. I really am happy that we don't have to deal with getting focus and SP on chappies anymore because that was like, that's been an issue guys for like a year and a half. Like since the game came out, since I started rolling accessories, that's been an issue and they've addressed We've addressed to fix it so many times, and we never thought it would be a thing because we thought it was kind of like a troll type of thing. But you know what? They finally did it after months. Thank you. This is called the Matu update because Matt um, from K Lab Game Station was always suggesting that they take that out. And shout out to him. He got through to them, and I guess the community is, in general got through to them as well. So congrats. We finally get what we want. The auto co-op is amazing. That I'm super excited for, for powder res because I always want to do co-op and farm powders, but I don't always have time while I'm editing or maybe I'm doing something else. But now I can just turn auto on, get my character to auto because your characters can easily, you guys, easily. If I can auto a level 100 raid, I can auto a level 100 powder run easily, especially with like the top tier characters that we have. Um, that's going to be amazing. Um, and yeah, the gift box improvement is also very big for me because I always collect characters and I always hate doing that. I, I like going through them individually and uh, I like like just collecting my gifts and then leaving my characters in there in case I need them for fodder and not always collecting them and having to get rid of them. And uh, yeah, it, it, it really did fix a lot, guys. It really did fix a lot. So update 5.2, just around the corner for you homies. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll let the gameplay finish out if there's any gameplay in the background. And yeah, guys, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. Let me know some suggestions down below of some of my video ideas you want me to do and whatever you guys want to see from your boy Ray. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>
力の差を教えてやるセロオスキュラス